All right. Cell phone here. All right. Hello, guys. Let me come on. Let me know where you're from. Get my cell phone here. All right. So I can see comments really good. So, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. And tell me how, where you're from. I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be doing a rail. An actual, or not a rail, but well, I call it a rail, but we're gonna be using the rectangle boards. So, whoop whoop. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Maria. I already done half of it because I know there's no way I was gonna get this done in no hour. So. <laughs> No way, no way, no way. So, I went ahead and done half of it. Message Laura is like, can I, can I do some rectangle? You know, she's like, absolutely. So I was like, woohoo, because I want to make this, and I wanted to hang it on my door before I took off to go camping this week. So, um, kind of hold it up here. Kind of bright, colorful. I left part of it to do with you all with the mesh and all that. So. Hello, Maria. Hey, Kathy. Sandra. Connie. Um, it's very windy here, Tracy. Very, very windy here in Vermont. How is it everywhere else? Hello, Miss Lori. Tony from Jersey. Okay, I want to go ahead and um show y'all what we're gonna be using. So, um. I am using the striped fabric mesh. I thought I had some wide striped fabric mesh, but I didn't. So we're just going to use this. Um, and you're going to be using a whole roll. And for this here, it is the cotton poly mesh. Um, I did give the skew for this in the comment or the post, which I put everything in the post, but um, the striped mesh that I'm using, Lori does sell it in her shop, so um, you can get that from her shop. Hello? Yeah, we're supposed to get, like, chance of rain, but I ain't seen it yet. And we really need it, in all honesty. It's really dry here. Our our grass is, like, turning brown. And, I mean, good thing you ain't got to mow it. But, anyway. <laughs> okay. And I'm using, like, a total of, like, I don't know, eight, nine ribbons. But for the ribbon tails, I'm using this really sparkly. It's like a net. It's a silver... Two and a half inch net ribbon. Um, I got it from a D stash site. Um, I paired it with this, which I love. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you're having fun on vacation, Maria. Um, then there's this one. It's one and a half. This, I believe, come from Michael's, actually. Um, and I'm using some red glue ribbon, one and a half inch. That come from Michael's. Um, I'm not sure where that come from. Pretty sure D stash, but it's a blue kind of glittery ribbon. And this, I'm not sure where it come from, but it's two and a half inch. So, those are all in the ribbon tails. And then my bow, I think I'm going to do a funky bow. Um, well, I'll show you my sign, and then you'll kind of understand. So, I got this sign. It also come from a D-Stash site. Love it. So, also kind of have like two and a half inch ribbon to go with it, and one and a half inch. So that kind of matches the sign. I'm going to put that in the bow. My boyfriend picked that out, but I don't, I mean, I love it, but I don't think it's going to go with this. 
So that's going to be kind of off to the side because in a funky bow, you're not going to be able to see the words. So I doubt I'll use that. I'll probably just throw in some of the solid and one or two of the other that we're using in our bows. So hello, Lynn. Um, I'll bring it down here in a minute. I'm just showing you like what I'm using. Um, and then my Uncle Sam attachment. I got him off of Etsy. I thought he was soups cute. And then I kind of made my own picks again. Um, you can get these, of course, the white, the red, and the blue is all individual. And you can get these picks. Um, they're over, they're not like with the seasonal stuff. It's over like where, um, kind of like the mesh and all that is at Hobby Lobby. And they're only 99 cents. And I got two. Like, I use white, red, and blue. And I got two of these. I made my own picks for it. So, I mean, come on. Hey, you know. Yes, I do get some great stuff from D-Stash. I'm telling y'all, D-Stash sites are awesome. So, there's those. So, those are from Hobby Lobby. And like I said, one bush I got two out of, and they were only 99 cents. And like I said, you find them over there where the mesh and some of the flowers and some of the wired ribbon and stuff that they have. So, okay. So I will bring you down. Let me move some of this stuff because this thing is large. Cause like I said, <laughs> I wanted it for my door and I ended up using three of these because I wanted a bow. I wanted my Uncle Sam and I wanted my welcome sign on it. So I am using three. And of course I overlapped them using two holes and put them together. Same with the down here. I overlapped the two holes and then put them together. So there is that. Okay, so now I will bring you down and let's see if I can move this down. All right, so we're gonna bring the camera down and that way we can see what we're doing. Okay, so on this, of course, we're gonna put one in the end. Hello, Susan. And then I didn't start with the very first hole, but I went on to the next hole and then went and it gets a little kind of confusing because some of these are a little closer together, but you still want that like gap between the two. So with this where the holes are close, you don't want to put it in there and then, you know, make that super close. So I just skipped that hole and went on. And that's pretty much how I've done it all the way down the board. So... And we're only using the outside row for this, and then we'll use the inside row, and I'll show you what we'll do with the inside. So, all right, let me scooch that back down. All right. So on the end, I'm gonna use this, and I cut it 20 inches long, and I'm doing the woodland ruffle. You will need 18 of these and 18 of the white ones, and that's a whole roll of mesh. And uh, the ribbon bundles, which I used kind of three different bundles. Um, how many? I think there was six of each of the different like bundles that I used. Because I also put them on the outside and we also I done them on the inside. Like the middle, I guess. So, okay. So here we go. I'll move that out of the way. That way we can let me move the mesh out of the way here. Alright. So, and again, 20 inches long. We're gonna do curl side up. And we're gonna do the woodland ruffle. Hello, G Nan. Hello, Dara. Hi, Susan. And you're just gonna curl it. 
Bring it in a couple of times. Change the clip. Turning around. Curl this in a couple of times. And then just scrunch. Whoops. It's getting towards the end of the roll, so <laughs> it's really curling in on itself. And then just scrunch to the other roll. All right, and then I'm just bringing it around. And I'm gonna use one of my little four inch zip ties. You can get them at the, um, any hardware store. I got these from Dollar Tree. So they're like, I think these were the Dollar Tree ones. But there's those. And I'm just gonna zip tie it. Because if you put it in the board just like that, there's a big chance that's going to slide out, especially the middle part, and I don't want it to slide out. So we are going to, well, thank you, Susan. Yes, everybody, sprinkle, sprinkle, share, please. And then just cut that off. Okay. And then I'm just going to bring it around. Just bring it around, get you your little nub going on, as we call it, right here. And we're just going to slide it in there. Tie it. And cut it off. Alright. 20 inches on the mesh. Well, did everybody have a good weekend? What did everybody do for the weekend? I was supposed to have went to the um, Queechee Hot Air Balloon Festival, but we kind of forgot about it. I got so mad at myself because I've been wanting to go there and um, since I moved up here because they launch the balloons they do it at 6 30 in the morning weather permitting of course and um, 6 30 or 7 at night I've always wanted to go and dang on it if I didn't miss it no you don't have to wood burn the mesh because you're you're it's just a woodland ruffle you're curling it in on itself so you're not seeing the um, the ends. I mean, you can wood burn it if you want to, but I'm not. So, all right. And again, there's your woodland ruffle. I'm just gonna take my four inch zip tie, put it in the middle, zip tie it in. All right. There's all the way. And you can do curl side, like the curls up, or you can do the curl down. However you prefer, it's up to you. But I'm gonna do where the curls are up. Forgot to mention that, so. Oh wow, Susan. I love hot air balloons, but like I said, I about kicked myself in the pants. I was like, really? Couldn't believe I missed it. Forgot all about it. I was like, next time I'm writing it on a daggone calendar is what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not doing it that way. Sorry. All right, then just fold it in half. Get your little nub. Slide it in under the zip tie. Pull it tight. Hello, D. Thank you guys for sharing, sprinkling the love. Appreciate the bunches. All right. I think I got it in there. If it comes out, I'm going to fix it later, I guess. Because again, I'm making it from my door, so. Yeah, I think that's all right. I don't think I don't go anywhere. Too. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save the last two from when we do the middle. That way, if somebody else comes on and they've not seen it, then I can make it and they'll see what we've done. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of the ones I've already pre-cut and done. And again, it's the woodland ripple. Cut it 20 inches long. Alright, and a white one, and you don't have to like do different meshes, you can do just the all one mesh, but you will have to have two rolls of the same one if you do just the one mesh, you will have to have two rolls of it, because I use one roll of each color, so to say, each mesh, so. Right. This land now. Thank you, Jeanan, for the stars. All right, come on. Out in there. And where I got these. Put together it's a little harder probably should have left that one open a little harder to slide underneath the zip tie where I closed it because the two boards are together so and the extra thickness there okay so before we go on to the middle I'm going to go ahead and place my ribbon tails and um, and then we'll do the middle. So, of course, I alternated. So I even wrote on the board that way, because I went ahead and done this up to see how many I needed. And so I wrote on my board here what I would need. So here I said red. So that means my red with the stars and um so these were cut at let's see i don't even remember now it's at 15 inches so i cut these at 15 inches long and i put them where the white was at so if you do the same color just do one, skip one, do one, skip one, you know. So we'll put in the red. Of course, as you go along, you could just do one zip tie. If you already have your ribbon bundles made up, you can put your ribbons and mesh in all at once if you want. But I wasn't that part yet. I just done the mesh. I hadn't even got my ribbon done yet. I waited till I got it all done and then I actually done my ribbons. <laughs> Alright, so there's that one. Alright, down here I have net, which that means the um, sparkly silver net with the sparkly red, white, and blue thing. Grab another zip tie. Put it right over the other one where the mesh is at. In here. Stick it in. Close it up. Alright. And by the way, I don't know, some of y'all might know me, some of y'all might not, but I'm Carrie Marie. I'm from Mountain Gal Creations. I 
come on here every now and then per request of Miss Lori, one of her designers, to make something with you guys. So, all right, so there's that one. And then we're going to skip over to this side and we're going to do another red one. So, grab more zip ties here. I love this. Um, I don't understand what you mean. All night on one. I don't understand what you mean, Miss Karen. Hello, boo. Is she sneaking on here? So what you think, Bill? Are you liking it so far? Yay, nay. <sighs> All right. So grab another one of our red ones. Not gonna answer me. He helped me pick out the ribbon, Joe. My boyfriend did. And the mesh. I guess, kind of, sort of. <laughs> so there's that one. Alright, next one will be the gray stars with the blue glitter. Again, we're just going right over top of our other zip tie on the white mesh. Thank you, boo. So, we grab the gray stars with the blue ribbon. And like I said, these were cut 15 inches long. And I went ahead and made them up prior. I knew there was no way I was going to get this bad boy done. And I still might not get it done within the hour. <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry. Right, and then one more, which will be the sparkly silver net and the other sparkly. Thank you, Jean Ann. Well, I can get it in here. There we go. So, grab our sparkly one. Alright, now everything was going to catch on everything. Yeah, just like Lori does. Um, I'll show you here in just a second. I didn't want to take too much time doing them, but I will show how I've done the ribbons. Okay, so there is them beauties. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, since we have the stripe, we're going to put the white on top. And for the middle, I do one, skip one. So we're going to come right here, and we're going to place our white one. So, stick it in there. And again, it's a woodland ruffle. I probably should have left that open and put the ribbon in there at the same time, but that's okay. Okay, so since I have the sparkly net with this and then the red on the side, so I'm going to put this one on top. The one with the gray 
background and the blue stars. So Tracy was asking about the ribbon tails. So let me find this one and I'll go ahead and uh, cut the rubber band off and I'll show you how I found the ribbon tails. All right, so again, cut them 15 inches long. All right, so put them one on top of each other and always fold them over to get the middle. Crease it down here, bring it back, and then just crunch it and bring it around to make your V. If one side is too long, just come down here and adjust it a little bit. Then I just pinch it together. Get one of the little rubber bands that you get from Dollar Tree, which now Lori sells them, which is awesome sauce. So I think she said she sells them like 1500. So I was like, whoa, can't wait. My next order from her, I will be adding the rubber bands. Hello, Shernella. Hello, Miss Judy Baker. Alright, so each ribbon tail the one. Probably should the blue put the blue on over the gray a little more, but we'll do this. Okay. And now so we're gonna Take this, put it over the white. Go ahead and close it. All right. Yes, Miss Tracy. Thank you for asking. I just didn't think I'd already had them all made up. And... Okay, so there's that. Grab the next piece. Go ahead and put our stripe on it. And remember, we're skipping one. So we skip that, go to the next one. It's backward. I'm paying attention. All right. Grab our woodland ripple. And I'm doing curl side up on it. Slide it right in there. And zip it on down. Be available on replay, Melissa. No worries, or on YouTube one. No worries. All right, so there's that one. I'm gonna grab our white. So again, on the boards, of course, this next row that we're doing is really super close to the one we just did. So. Of course, like we did along the edge, we skipped this row. So I'm going to go to the next row. So pretty much you can go by like where your nubbies is from your outside ones and pretty much know that's where you start your next um, thing for the middle, your next piece of mesh for the middle. There I go, doing it backwards again. Okay. 
Now, of course, we're not going to do this all the way down. We're going to, because I started in the mid, you have to come to the middle. I found the middle of my rail, or my rectangle board, or swag, whatever you want to call it here. <laughs> There's so many names for these, but um, I found the middle, and I brought it up to that point, and then brought this into the middle. So y'all can see what I mean. These are going this direction, and then these are going the opposite direction. And then I'm going to put my Uncle Sam on top, so you're not going to, you know, see what's there. You can put your attachment, your sign, you know, whatever you're going to be using in your what I call rail or a swag. So, and of course, this stuff just wants to grab the ribbon and other mesh. Hello, Rhonda. Okay. So again, we get to this part. So I see that I have the gray and the red. So we're going to grab the knit silver and this ribbon tail. We're going to go right over top of a zip tie we just used for our white woodland ripple. Stick it in there. Ah. All right, grab our ribbon tail. Slide it right on in. Work with them to get them to lay down. Okay. So there's that. All right. Go ahead and put my next zip tie in. I'm going to leave it open because that's where we doubled the boards and it's a little harder to slide these in underneath them. So grab our next piece of mesh, slide it down in here, and zip it up over. And of course, always go back and mess with your ribbons. I'm always going back and fixing them and adjusting them. Okay, so the next two I gotta make. I'll go ahead and show you how to do the woodland ruffle. Slide this out of the way. Yes, I did have it half done because there was no way I could do it in an hour's time. No way under the sun. It took me about all day actually to get all this done up and figured out how to get the ribbons placed so yeah all right so again this is 20 inches long you do curl side up just take the ends curl it in on itself once or twice and take it and you're gonna scrunch it you get to the other curl Get it up here, and there's your woodland ruffle. You got the curls, you can do it this side up, or you can do it curl side down, however you want to do it. So, grab one of my little four inch zip ties that you can get at any hardware store, even Dollar Tree. I believe that's where I got these, if I'm not mistaken. But I use these on these ones instead of 
waste on the bigger zip ties, so to say. So there's that one. And then we'll go ahead and do the white one. All right, so we are going to curl the end. Make sure to clip the pull it, turn it around, curl this end on itself. And get a little tricky where it don't want to curl under, but show it who's the boss. Take it, scratch it towards the other side. Hello, Heidi. All right, there's your woodland ruffle. Kind of looks like a bow tie or whatever. So, I'm using the rectangle board today. I had this project in mind that I've been wanting to do and got everything for it. And I messaged Lori. I was like, Lori, instead of a rail, I was like, can I use the rectangle board? She's like, of course. I was like, okay. Game on, because I wanted to do this before I left, and it wasn't looking like I was going to get to do it before I left for vacation. I go to West Virginia, and um, so I was like, ah, so when she said that, I was like, yes, I can do this for my life, and I'll get it done so I can hang it on my door. So, yay, and I'll show you here. And I actually, here it is. I actually used three of the rectangle boards because I wanted a bow, a sign, and my Uncle Sam wreath attachment. So here it is. All right. So again, we're going to skip one in the middle here. And like I said, you can go by what's here. So. There is a tie in there. Oops. Get our white woodland ruffle and just pinch it in the middle. Get your little nub. Slot it on in. So grab another zip tie, because we're going to put a set of ribbon tails on top of the white. Go ahead and close it off. And since I have the gray and then the silvery net here, That means we're going to take one of the red ones and slide it in. So there is the red. All right. <laughs> attachments and make a funky bow and we will be done. All right, so last mesh, and remember we're skipping one. And this is gonna butt right up with the other petal that we have going the opposite direction. Get our 20 inch. Well, hello from West Virginia. I'm from West Virginia. Living in Vermont at the moment. I just accidentally pulled on that thing. I know there's no way I can get that slit under there. I didn't mean to pull on it when I was trying to get the mesh in. Like a gooba. Love 
kaku boy. Okay. Okay. There we go. Grab our mesh. This one's going to be a little trickier since you have that other nub from your opposite piece of mesh right there. Let's see. Let's grab my pliers and fucking. There we go. I don't want to put them down. Alright, there we go. And this will just kind of, it'll be hid anyway. You're not going to see that because I'm going to put my Uncle Sam wreath attachment there. So you're not going to see that. Okay, guys. So. Let's grab our Uncle Sam. Get him on here. And again, I just got him off of Etsy. Shoo. That's some serious pipe cleaners on this thing. Alright. So, let's work on getting this bad boy down in here. Thankfully, it won't be too hard. Let me wind that up so it won't come out. Down. Down. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm too hard but at least hard enough to where he's not gonna like slide either so I don't want to squish all this so to say back over there all right then I'm just twisting no it's not from Lori's mom um I don't remember the name of the shop I got from, but it, it's off at Etsy. mom does have some cute wreath attachments. I did order um, a couple of her Highland cows actually. Alright, come on. Let's just arrange so I can see oh. this side. It says on the heftier side, too. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see. There's the hole. Close the pipe cleaner down through. Get it in, maybe, hopefully. I can't tell if I got it on there straight or not, but I can make you stand up. Yeah, good enough for now. If it needs fixed later, I'll fix it later.
So there's that. All right. I'm going to show you all my welcome sign that I want to put at the top. Um, Lori's uh, mom is selling them. It's uh, Sandy's wreath attachments on Facebook. Okay, so let me get some pipe cleaners Put on our sign. I should have already had that done, but let's use cable mounts. And you know what? Let's see. Double these up. Let's let me get. Okay. I'm gonna probably have to double these and all I'm doing is just taking the ends and just kind of wrapping over itself. Um there's several people selling the Halloween cows like on um like some of your um, resites that allows people to sell them. There's people on eBay or Etsy, I mean, that sells them. Um, Derica is the one that come up with them from, um, what is that, Doors, Doors Wood Decor or something, I can't remember. Hello, Miss Nadia. All right. So, and we got our sign. So I'm going to slide this bad boy down. I'm going to stand up. And then I kind of want to put this on kind of at an angle. So, I'm gonna get down through all of this mesh and craziness. Hopefully. <laughs> Why? Why are you being a pain? Well, be alright if I had the right side, wouldn't it? Ding dong. A hot mess this evening. All right, so what in the world? Oh, knocking stuff off my table here. Okay. I'm sorry, my big head's in the way. <laughs> Bring the even on up over that actually. All right. And again, you don't want to super tighten it down. You don't want to smash everything. Yes, Miss Nadia. She is being crazy, as I say. Um, anyway, she's on the adventure of doing 10 days of lives. <laughs> and she will be on tonight at 9. Isn't that right, Nadia? I hope so. I hope I didn't mess that up. I believe you said it was nine. Lord, I can't remember. I've been working on this too long today. I'm trying to get it figured out. <laughs> Alright, yeah, nine. Oh my goodness. 
this wants to patch on each other and it's a pain getting this stuff in here. Too bad you couldn't do the wreath attachments first, right? <laughs> Okay. I don't think that's gonna stay how I want it actually. I think I might have to go up the next hole. Dang on it. In order to keep the crooked angles, so to say. Yeah, there we go. Alright. And again, I don't want it super tight or anything. You don't want to smash them. Oh, you're pretty ribbons and mesh and all that. So, oh my goodness. Derekasdesigns.com. Okay. I was thinking of the other one. Whew, I'm telling you. Thank you, Tina. She also has them. She originally come out with the pattern and all that. So now I want to put a funky bow down here. So let's see if we can make a funky bow real quick. Grab that. And again, I broke my poor little <laughs> spool. Got about eight inches. So bring out. Yeah, it twists. I'm gonna make the loop. Just go for six inches. <laughs> Just keep going, Carrie. Twist and bring down. Now, what are you going to do with the Terry bow? I said funky bow, but we're going to do a Terry bow. You just make an X pattern. So I'm going to bring this out here. Uh, cut that off. And we're done with that ribbon. So, see the X, y'all? Alright, um, let's see. Let's do our silver. Alright, so where we have the loop, we're actually going to put a tail. So bring that out, twist, we're also going to make this loop six inches, all right, twist that, you get the back side of the neck ribbon, because there is a difference. You all might not see it, but there is a difference on this. Alright, bring this out. Cut it off. Alright, so again, where there's a tail, you put a loop. Where there's a loop, you put a tail. Just make an X pattern. So let's get our chevron because this matches the, and I'm kind of a matchy matchy person. So, um, I don't know. They might actually kind of be the same, Judy. I'm not, I'm not really sure to be honest. So, okay. So loop. I don't know if they're one and the same. 
<gasps> or not. What is the funky bow where you don't even do loops? You just kind of put the bunch of pieces of different ribbon. Is that the funky bow, maybe? Whew, my Lana. All right, I'm going to do this one five inches. We're just going to kind of go down an inch in size. I think it is GD, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, you got loop, so tail, you got tail, so put your loop, tail loop, loop tail. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see, let's go with solid blue here. And a cherry bow, you use about six, seven ribbons. So this one I'm also going to do five inches. Hopefully we have enough of it. I believe so. For the funky bow? Maria, sorry. It could be one loop. I don't know. I've not made a funky bow. I do know this is the Terry bow. I learned this from Damon, actually. So, from Deco Exchange. Okay. All right, so we got a loop. So we need to put our tail over here. Loop, loop, tail. So again, just make the X. Alright, so let's see. I think I'm going to hmm. One, two, three, four. Let's do the solid red or no. Oh. All right, let's do the big stars again, actually. And then Yeah. Shoo, can't make up my mind. Of course, I ain't nothing new, I guess. Or probably shot blue, put blue on blue, but maybe all right. All right. So tail loop, loop tail, tail loop, loop tail. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna finish it off. Chevron again. So this you only make one loop. That'll be like the middle of the bow. So let's make it hair smaller. So there you go. Tie. Oh, I thought I had another one. Also, take two pipe cleaners, put them together for this too. 
Hello, Miss Daisy. All right, now let's see if we can get this. Bad boy off of here without ruining it. cleaner through there collapse y'all all right so get it bring it around and I always use the pipe cleaners when I do these Twist it, and then I'll go back, get my zip tie to make sure it's like really secured, <laughs> and put on it, and then pull as tight as I can. I need to slide it towards the back though. Okay. Now we'll get this, get it on. Of course, all you can and peeps. Got you on here a few minutes longer. Tonight's chit chat night. Okay, so and get my bow in here. Course, catch all of our ribbons. Okay, hope I ain't putting this on here too tight, but if I do, I'll go back and we'll fix it. So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna Kind of keep continuing with the X pattern, but we don't want it all stacked up on each other. So, I'll take this, cut it down. Scissors. Right. Just start fluffing up your loops. So you got a tail, you got your loop. So then we need your next tail to kind of just continue your pattern. And I end up whacking that a little shorter actually. So you got tail loop tail then your other loop that's kind of hard to see but just fluff it up it's our star loop okay then we should have our net try and take dovetail all right and then it's our chevron ribbon. So get that loop. Just bring it out. There it is. So then we should have our star tail. And of course we're gonna whack that off. Don't be afraid to pull and jerk and all that on it. So there's that. So then we should have the loop. 
for the glitter. And our chevron too. Took me a minute. I was like, wait a minute. So there's our chevron too. Alright, so next layer up. So we have our tail. So it should be a loop there. Alright. Um let's see. Needs whacked actually. Now I forgot to finish this out. There we go. Woo, my lanta carry. I think I need a little more practice on my funky, on my terry bows here before I start showing you all, huh? Okay, so there we go. All right, so loop. Oh my goodness. Should have done another ribbon as well. I should have done, but it's okay. Let's get this. I'm just going to keep playing with it till you get it all how you want it. That looks good, so to say. Don't be afraid to pull and jerk and whatever you need to do. All right. I'm somewhat satisfied with it for now. All right, here we go, guys. Whoop, whoop. And again, a few minutes over, but hey, all right, bring it up. Hopefully, you can see this big boy. Get my chair all the way. And here we go, y'all. Wow. I ain't even going to get that in the camera angle. <laughs> but there it is. What you think? What you think? All right. And she is done. Let me see if I can kind of. So, bring it out this way. I have to move the bow up, I think, a hair or two, actually. Move it up this way some. But I'm happy with it. I like him on my front door. <laughs> So there it is, guys. And that's pretty big. Turn it sideways. See it a little better, even though it is sideways. So here you be, y'all. Woo! Mercy sakes. 
Glitter everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, I won't be back till the end of July. I'm going on vacation. So, um... I'm going to West Virginia to be with my family, take my niece and nephew camping and all that good fun stuff. So um, it'll be towards the end of July sometime um, before you'll see me back. Um, so if y'all like what you see, you can also follow me on my Mountain Gal Creations page. I put the link in the post um, or you can just search Mountain Gal Creations and um, join me there. And um, so I guess I will see you all sometime. I'm late for chit-chat and K&M. So thank you, ladies.